My name's Linda Tinkler and I'm the Trust Lead for Nursing, Midwifery and Allied Health Professionals Research here at Newcastle Hospitals. So I've got lots of experience in delivering and developing and leading research, um, but I'm also aware that there's lots of bumps in the road along the way and I've experienced those bumps myself. And quite often research can be more complex than we first think. The plan module is really important as part of the whole 4Ps programme because planning itself is really important for any piece of research and it's not just about planning the project itself, it's thinking about the bigger picture and everything that needs to happen around the piece of research to get it where it needs to be or indeed the, the fellowship application. So the plan module was designed to help people think about how they position their research within the wider organisational priorities but also system wise as well because we work in a, a large and complex system so it's about people thinking about the bigger picture and where their research fits within that. The module also helps them to think about their own influencing styles as well so how they might have a discussion with a team, um, how they might influence at different levels because they have to talk to lots of different teams and, and span a number of boundaries when developing a piece of research. So it's helping them to think about their own influencing styles as well and how that can impact on how successful their research is. And I think one of the biggest things that, that the module helps them to think about is the time frames that are needed because people often will see a, a, a call for a particular competition and it has a six week window and, and the deadline is in six weeks and they'll, you know, they'll think that they can pull together an application in that time but it's not that straightforward. Quite often people will need to be working on a research application for well over a year for it to be successful. So the module really helps them to think about not just the research itself but actually how do they maximise the, the impact and the success of that by thinking about all of the other elements. One of the other really important elements of the module is that it helps people to think about what their next steps are after they've received feedback from a particular funding application. So the majority of funding applications aren't always successful first time round and it's completely normal. And what the module does is it helps people to look at the feedback that's received and think about what next steps they need to take to work on that feedback and be successful next time round. That's not to say that the applications are always unsuccessful. We are very successful at Newcastle Hospitals and we see lots of people being successful first time. So the module also helps you to think about what to do if you're successful as well, what are the next steps you need to take? What conversations do you need to have? So it's really important um, kind of landscape background information so that people know what to do next, really, when it comes to any research application. So if you'd like more information on the 4Ps programme or specifically the plan module, then just go to the website and find out more.